Monday Night Chat with Wong Chen. Brought to you by the Member of Parliament for Kelana Jaya in collaboration with Invo. Welcome back to Monday Night Chat with Wong Chen. Uh, we had a two weeks break uh, because of the two long holidays, so we're happy to be back. Now, we're going to introduce a new segment this uh, week. We're going to do Where It's At. Apparently, it's quite cool to say that. <laughs> so, for the very first segment, we're doing Sister Stella, one of our favorite uh, so called charity tuition center that we support. We support up to about 5,000 ringgit a year. They do a wonderful job. Enjoy this segment on it. Then we'll get to QA. My, my name is Vedavadi. I'm 15 years old. I'm teaching here for three years. I, I'm teaching here because I want to give back what I learned from here. That's all. Uh, my name is Rubini. I'm here since 2004. I studied here with Sister Stella in 2004. It was like only English class where uh, Sister Stella only started the class. No, no one, no helpers was, was here. After uh, she started the English class, then the youths come, youths from Desamantari started to come in and help her. And now it already become a, like we have many youths here to help us. And most of us are in the core team now is, is the students who studied here previously. Basically, we come again and help this center is for because we have gained a lot from here so we think that we need to give back to the society and at the same time sister Stella works very hard to um, to build a bright future for each and every student so we think that we also should be a part of her journey so we are here to help her uh, my name is Risha I'm 15 years old I'm studying here for 11 years so I'm teacher for standard one, two, three, so, uh, BM and science. So I'm, I'm like to teach. That's why I'm teach. My ambition to become accountant. I'm Clarice. Uh, I'm from Sabah actually, and I'm actually working as a staff nurse. But I, I come here about a month. Um, I'm staying in level one and then so every Tuesday and Wednesday I come over here to to help Sister Stella to teach Bahasa Melayu and what I have learned here is um, I have seen that many of the teachers are also ex student here where they help the younger one to to learn and to learn and then uh, to improve themselves in in Bahasa Melayu, English and Mathematics and it is really helpful that I feel help me to have the feelings of want to help my own people in Sabah one day. My name is Sarvis Raj. I'm living in B6. My school name is Sekolah Kebangsaan Dato' On Jaffa. 
my ambition is to be a policeman. My name is Divyesh. My name is Divyesh. My name is Divyesh. I study. I study. I living in Delta Mentari. My ambition is become a Amin. My name is Sineha. I'm 15 years old. Um, my ambition is graphic designer. My name is Magen. I'm studying here for... I improve my knowledge and my studies in all subjects. So I think my in my PD3 I will take a good... Uh, good marks. So I... That's all. And my ambition is... Make, uh, I want to... Uh, Technical engineer. My name is Vedvadi. I'm 15 years old. Now I'm studying maths today. Um, I'm from SMK Banda Sunway. Uh, I want to become a lawyer. My name is Sugash Nagishra. I'm studying for this year, the new girl to come the tuition. Why you study means I study to hard to get the A in PD3. Uh, my ambition to be dentist. Nama saya Mugundan. Umur saya sebelas. Saya saya baca tahun empat hingga tahun lima. Cita-cita saya bomba. Nama saya Ilan Navin. Umur saya sebelas. I actually teach a police. Nama saya ialah Naga Viren. Umur saya ialah sebelas. Saya saya baca tahun tahun empat hingga tahun lima. Abi saya itu pilot. Nama saya Nur Alfir. Umur saya ialah sebelas tahun. Cita-cita saya ialah menjadi polis. Hobi saya ialah nasi goreng. Okay, Q&A this week, three questions as usual. The first question, what are my take on the IPIC 1MDB settlement uh, that was announced in the London Stock Exchange and also by 1MDB? The deal is bad for taxpayers, that's clear. Originally, the government told us that they will defend uh, this issue about the 3.5 billion US dollar payment, which carries a coupon rate about 5 to 6%. Therefore, the actual debt is not uh, 3.5 billion US dollars but closer to 4.2 to 4.5 billion US dollars. So uh, when they settled uh, two weeks ago, it is a clear indication that 1MDB has no more assets and that the Malaysian government has now committed itself, the Ministry of Finance in particular, has committed itself to pay for the 3.5 billion. Therefore, it's a very, very bad deal, uh, but understandable in the circumstances that Malaysia actually owes this money to IPIC. Okay. Now, the second question regarding uh, the issue of also 1MDB, but regarding China's pullout or non-payment over the TRX land. Well, we know that the TRX land is, uh, is a 7.5 billion due uh, ringgit. And the Chinese, despite 
uh, extensions to make payment to take over the TRX land has failed to make payment. So it's, it's very simple. You don't pay, you don't get it. So at the moment, the deal seems to have sunk itself or has collapsed or terminated. There are rumours that China is trying to revive the matter, but until we see those actual payment made, there's no point talking about it. I think what uh, one MDB has to do is to put up the land for sale and see any other takers. But it raises a whole complex issue regarding China's investment in Malaysia. Was the entire two years of few good factor from potential Chinese investors and Chinese loans, were this really just to offset or to, uh, to derail Obama's plan to stop uh, China via TPPA? Or have the Chinese woken up that they can't really deal with our Prime Minister anymore, anymore because you know, he's, he's basically toxic due to the 1MDB scandal? Okay. Now the third one, uh, what are my views on the past Muqtama recently? What is clear is this, I don't have to say much, you just have to read the papers. They are picking a fight with everybody, including PKR. Um, including Selena Gomez, <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, but one thing is clear, they keep emphasizing that they are going to work together with AMNO. Uh, so in the, in the context of Selangor government, things are a li bit, little bit more complicated because they are in Selangor government. They are uh, un very, very unhappy with DAP and also with Amana. They are also unhappy with PKR. What will happen in the next, uh, next week or so when the Sharia Council decides we shall see there might be some uh, political realignment happening in Selangor. So we're we on the outlook for that. And in the bigger picture in GE14, uh, I think by next week, we should get a clear indication what may happen. Uh, you know, a lot of people say we, we, need, uh, we need to avoid three corner fights. You need two person to tango. If one person refuses, the three corner fight will happen. That's it.